Hi, this is Bet Baron. Today I'll show you how luck messes with your mind and why Fortune's smile is deceptive, and explain one of the football's biggest betting myths. August 18th, 1913, was a day that etched itself into gambling history, turning the Casino de Monte Carlo into the scene of an unforgettable spectacle. That evening, during an ordinary game of roulette, something extraordinary happened. The ball landed on black an astonishing 26 times in a row. To put this into perspective, the odds of such an event are roughly 1 in 66 million, a statistical miracle that left jaws dropping and gamblers on edge. Word of the streak spread like wildfire through the lavish casino halls, drawing a growing crowd of curious onlookers and eager gamblers to the roulette table. The air was electric, buzzing with disbelief and excitement. Many gamblers, driven by the classic gambler's fallacy, convinced themselves that red was overdue. After so many consecutive black results, they began placing ever larger bets on red, believing that fate would soon balance the scales. But fate, it seemed, had other plans. Spin after spin, the ball continued to mock their logic, stubbornly landing on black. Frenzied bets escalated to staggering sums, with millions of francs riding on the hope that red would finally break the streak. When red did finally appear, on the 27th spin, it was too late for many. By then, fortunes had been lost, and the infamous streak had cemented itself as one of the most dramatic cautionary tales in gambling history. But before we go any further, make sure to download my all-time classic system, AC Pro. It will generate tons of profit for you. Also, check Mozart both teams to score. This one is really good, and you'll absolutely love it. And please hit the subscribe, like and share buttons to keep this channel going. The Monte Carlo roulette streak is now a textbook example of the gambler's fallacy, a cognitive bias rooted in a misunderstanding of probability. It occurs when someone assumes that the likelihood of a specific outcome increases or decreases based on previous outcomes, even though each event is statistically independent. Take the coin toss as a classic example. A fair coin has a 50% chance of landing heads and a 50% chance of tails on every flip. Yet, if you flipped heads five times in a row, it feels like tails is due. In reality, the coin has no memory. The probability remains exactly the same, regardless of what happened before. This fallacy gets its name from gamblers who believe that a streak of bad luck will eventually reverse, or that a string of wins means they're on a hot streak. It's tempting to think that chance has a moral compass, but randomness is indifferent to our expectations. Now, let me explain the gambler's fallacy in football betting and why streaks can fool you. Let's explore how the gambler's fallacy manifests in football betting and how you can avoid it. Once again, the gambler's fallacy is the belief that past events influence future outcomes in independent scenarios. In football betting, it often looks like this. A team has lost its last five matches. You think they're due for a win now? A match has been goalless at halftime for the last three games. You bet on a high-scoring second half, thinking, goals must be coming. A prolific striker hasn't scored in a few games. You wager on them to score next because they're overdue. These assumptions rest on the flawed belief that randomness or chance has a memory. But football, like roulette or dice, often doesn't conform to such logic, especially when the outcomes are shaped by many independent factors. The key to avoiding the gambler's fallacy is to treat each football match as its own unique event, guided by logic and analysis, rather than streaks or emotions. Football betting is as unpredictable as the sport itself, and the gambler's fallacy thrives on the illusion of control over randomness based on flawed logic. So next time you're tempted to back a due win or a guaranteed goal, remember, football is beautiful because of its unpredictability and randomness doesn't owe you anything. Always rely on data and research. And that's all folks. Download AC Pro and Mozart and subscribe, like and share to keep the Bet Baron channel going. Plenty of goodies to come. Until next time, take care and good luck from Bet Baron.